So in this video, I want to talk about bile acid synthesis and metabolism. So bile acids are very important in our body to help to digest and absorb fats and also help to absorb fat-soluble vitamins, ADEK. So where do bile acids come from? They are synthesized in the liver from cholesterol. So the first bile acids that you make are CDCA, the chinodeoxycholic acid, and cholic acid. These are referred as our primary bile acids. So these primary bile acids are very weak acids. So they are mainly in their protonated form, so they are non-charged and therefore membrane permeable. So they can be passively reabsorbed everywhere. But where do we want to have our bile acids? We want to have them in the duodenum to help to digest and absorb fats. So if something is passively reabsorbed everywhere, we cannot kind of concentrate it at a specific spot where we need its function. So how our body does it, our body conjugates them with either glycine or taurine amino acids to make them stronger acids with a lower pKa. The consequences, they're going to be deprotonated. They're going to be charged. And no passive absorption is possible. So therefore, we can get them easily where we want to have them, in the duodenum. And they're not going to be passively reabsorbed everywhere. So once we made this conjugated bile acids in the liver, and I've abbreviated here this with bile acid with an amino acid, we're going to dump them into the hepatic duct via this BSEP transporter. So then they're going to show up in the duodenum. And that's where they do their job. They facilitate fat absorption. But as they are so important to our body, we don't want to get just rid of them. We have a transporter in the ileum, the ASBT, the apical sodium dependent bile acid transporter that will take up this bile acids again once they have done their job and it's going to go out on the basolateral side via OST and then they're going to get into the enterohepatic circulation, show up in the liver and are going to be dumped in the bile again. Then they can do again their job. And this circulation, this recycling is very effective. So 90% of the bile acids are going to be recycled. About 10% of the bile acids will reach the colon. Here they're going to be deconjugated and dehydroxylated to form lithocholate and deoxycholate. These are our secondary bile acids. So they are produced from the colonic bacteria. Some of them will be passively reabsorbed, but they're also going to show up in the feces. This concludes the video on the metabolism of bile acids.